budget uh, tilt table tilt the tabletop tilt table I don't know I don't know what we're gonna call it we're just it's a tilt table right a tabletop tilt table I guess that's what you call it I uh, I ordered this and if you guys saw my last video one of, not my last video but one of my other videos and my unboxing I ordered this off of Amazon and it was $13.98 for just a simple easel already put together now I went and wandered around Hobby Lobby and I did see just a simple easel frame at Hobby Lobby for like $7.99 it wasn't put together but it would serve this purpose just as well if not better because I, I have to take this off and the other piece that was $7.99 already came in pieces the other easel did so there's that and it was cheaper but I already had mine, I already got mine off of Amazon, you know, you pay for convenience, right? So, I also got this, and I went and bought this at Home Depot for $4.98. So that was relatively inexpensive, and it came already pre-cut, and it is 24 and a half inches squared. Pre-cut, $4.98, off in the, um, by the dog kennel thing, the fencing, and it was kind of off. Not in the normal wood section, off in the somewhat oddball wood section in Home Depot. So what I did on my table <clears throat> was I measured out, actually I laid my, my board out and then I just put lines so I could keep track of where my board is on my paper to help me later when I need to adhere it to this. Because what I'm going to do, see now it's on the move. Make sure you tape it down so it doesn't run away with you. You'll never get your stuff on straight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this out. I have my middle marks. Don't forget to tell you that. I got my middle marks on my table. Boop, boop, boop. To let me know where I need to place my easel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece off and move it down to these two legs. Not this third leg, because that's my stand, right? And it's okay that these are going to be free-floating, because we're going to glue them with the E6000 to the back of the board. So then the whole board, this will stand, stay stuck to the whole board. So I'm going to take this piece off, and then we're going to glue it here. And then we're going to put the, put the place glue on these pieces, and then glue it all together. Hopefully that works. Okay, so now I gotta take this off. All right, pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I didn't wanna go at it too hard with something that, like a screwdriver. So I got my Leatherman and I got my blade out and you know, don't cut yourself people. This is what I'm choosing to use. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pry this off ever so slightly. I already started it. I paused it and it started to make sure it was going to work for me. Oh, oh, see, I almost, almost, real life people, hold on. I didn't even do what I was supposed to do. Jeez, Jimmy Cricket. Okay, hold on. Let's not mess up my whole project before we get going, right? First, before anything, you want to line up your pieces because you want to make sure that when your pieces are free floating, Sure, Red, forget your most important piece. All right, so first what you wanna do is you wanna do an outline of where your pieces go. Because once you take this brace off, you will no longer have a good guide. It doesn't have to be precise, but you do want to maintain your lines or you easily won't work right. Can't believe I almost forgot that. Blunt moment. We all have them, right? Okay. So, I got my lines made. Is that even straight? Does that look, that looks... Uh, I'm in it now, right? 
I'm all sorts of knee deep in it now, two feet without looking. That's me. Okay. good enough to maintain our lines that does not look at all straight at all straight okay because for whatever reason this doesn't even look straight because like, it isn't I got all sorts of issues going on now yeah because that's not even okay i'm leaving it i'm leaving it i'm leaving it okay i know i know okay so we want to make sure we do our lines this is called red overthinking the situation and making it worse okay so one gun and now we're gonna pry off our next piece remember people no stitches you want to do a diy it's not on your to-do list to go to the er so always put the sharp thing away from you. This actually is prying up rather easy because it used two, they just used a little staple gun. Staple it together real quick. Pry this off. Okay, taking longer than I wanted. I'm just trying to be gentle. I'm just trying to be gentle. There we go. You can see that. Boop. As I slice myself open, right? Yeah, let's go to the ER for stitches. Pause video. Now we're vloggers. I'm vlogging the ER. My local nightmare hospital. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but my hospital in my local area, uh, a lot to be desired. Oh, well, that's nice. It's not going to go too far, right? Okay, so next thing is we need to get rid of, I'm just let you dangle. Put you back in your uneven lines. This is going to work, I swear. It'll work. It'll work. I know it'll work. Make sure we maintain it. All right, and then you're going to put your knife away, making sure not to cut yourself. Good thing about Leatherman's is that I can also use it to... Let me just break them off. All right. Without making too much noise. Let's do this. Or not. Okay. Back to banging. Back to banging it. I just really need them to be flat. Got a sharp lip on it. Wiggle, 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 boom. Okay, so the next step is going to be your E6000. Maintain your lines. But you see, it's a good thing out there. Goodness. All right. Lines are up. Make sure that you don't put glue on your middle one. You don't want to put glue on your middle one or you won't have an easel. You'll just have a big flat table with some weird bracketing on the back. That'll be absolutely useless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's a good thing I got my, my pliers, right? E6000, it works itself. You got to love yourself. Who else is going to do that? Okay. So a little bit of glue. I don't want to over glue it and then have it ooze out everywhere, especially on the middle one. The, the inside legs. We'll call them the inside legs. Nice bead. Okay. So on these, just a little bit here and there. Because if it oozes out and sticks to your middle leg, you're kind of sunk. Then this thing is not going to work for sure. Okay, so this, yep, this down at the end, like so. 
I'm going to make sure that there's glue on this, though, for sure. You want glue here. Remember, not the middle leg. Middle leg is not to be glued. She does not want to be tied down. She's not looking to marry. Okay. Ooh, ooh, careful. Careful, Red. Oh, see, now I've got glue on my lid. That's not good. Okay, pause for a second. Getting ahead of myself. Again, see? See, you know, Mrs. Coffee says it. And the squirrel syndrome is real on YouTube. Okay, I just get so excited. Gotta do this and gotta do that. So the next step, and luckily, with this being E6000, it doesn't glue down immediately. You don't screw yourself with. So the important thing is just to maintain a square and a nice level edge. Bring it here. Bringing it back. Bringing it back so you're gluing the right stuff. You know what? So far, so good. It's already stuck to the wood because, you know, it's E6000 and it likes itself. It likes itself and it likes wood. Who doesn't like wood? I like wood. I like the smell of wood. That was my favorite shop class. I was, I was, I would much rather spend my time in the arts building stuff. I built the hope chest in high school. I still have it. It's at the end of my bed. It's quite nice. All right, so let's turn it over. Oh. Probably shouldn't have done that so quickly. That's okay. We'll put you back on in a second. See, she doesn't want to be tied down. So this nope, you will not tie me down. I want to maintain. See, that just does not look straight. Don't mind me, people. My eyeballs are telling me that ain't right. Stand you right there for a second. Okay. All right. Where's my tape measure? Let's measure our legs to make sure that their points are at the same, because if not, then that will not be good. Then you'll just have a lopsided table. So I have them um, just over an inch on that one, and slightly off. So I didn't think it looked straight. My brain. All right. What I will do is I will flip this back over. See, that's why I used paper. I have a big roll of this craft paper. I use it for all sorts of stuff. I wrap my, I put the, the backs of my pictures, set them and finish them so it looks nice. I use it to ship packages. Use it for things like this. Okay, so now we're gonna flip it back over and reset that. Let's remeasure. Where are we at? Right, just over an inch. Same point, just over an inch. Okay. So those are nice. Girl not to get tied down, let her dangle. Flip. Nice and easy. Now we're going to re-glue her here. And then we'll let that sit, and we'll come back at the end. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, welcome back. Well, you know, it was just a second for you. It was all day for me. I used my good old trusty Dutch oven, because it's super heavy, to weigh it down. It has been literally all day. I went to the movies with my man, took me out on a date, and I just allowed it just to sit and dry. So now, you know, dun, dun, dun. hopefully it worked. Hopefully it worked and I'm not gonna be like, yeah, okay, fail. So here we go. Was this a DIY tilt top table worth it in the end or not? Now look at that, not too bad. And there you go. And it works. And it works, people. So. I've got myself a nice little tilt table. My wood's a little stiff. Oh, listen to it. 
It's like a creaky old house. Yes, master. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So, look at that, guys. A nice, relatively easy DIY tilt top table. Since I have you here, look at that. And it's pretty cool. Move it up a little bit. I will show you. See? Now, now you can even back up a bit. I get my angles here in a minute. Let me move my camera up. Oh my goodness, guys. Hi, there he goes. There it is. So, with the use of your tilt top table that I just made, isn't that nifty? I can now hang all my big pieces up and not have to look down. Isn't that great? This is my 32, 1932 coupe. This is my piece that is uh, 100 by 70, as indicated in the corner. I got this from, I don't know, I'll have to put it in the description because I can't remember because I'm not going to order from them again. The image is great. The image is fantastic. But here's the problem, is that the drills, let me see if I can pull you guys down without, or you can also you can have it. Let me see. Oh, look at that, I can. Okay. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Is that not the most perfect thing you... Look at that. Is that not a nightmare? Now, it's everywhere. And it's not like... Okay, she doesn't know how to put her drills down. Because I do know how to put my drills down. Pop. Popping drills. They got knobbly bits. They're too fat. It's like, you know, one some are too thin, some are too fat. None are just right. Or barely. Barely just right. Look at that. Now, see, that looks really good. And then you get over here to the white, 5200, and it's a friggin' nightmare. And then I'm gonna move you nice and slow. Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And you get down in here, and it looks great, right? It looks really good. And then you get over to some of these other colors. Let me see if I can find the other one. 310 is a nightmare. Look at that cluster of crap. So, you know, and it's. I would like to say that it is um, just certain colors, like it being certain one or two, but I'm certain that I've got, I don't know, 40 colors, 40 plus colors, and a good 15 of them are like this. So yeah, there is my, there's my coop though. She's looking really good. I'm about halfway done. And uh, when I'm not working on this one, I'm working on my under the sea under the sea i don't remember my diamond art club because this is a job to get done the drills are a nightmare and then i work on diamond art club when it's fun so i really hope you guys enjoyed my video i hope you guys enjoyed my tilt top table my diy tilt top table work turned out pretty well i thought um lay that down Nice and easy, Red. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. See the table? And there it is. The nifty tilt top table. 24 and a half inches squared. And let me tell you, that, that piece is heavy. And it's hanging it up there like a champ. So I will leave the, I will leave the in the description box below the information on the easel and what I use to uh, do my little tabletop. With that being said, guys, this is red. I'm going to keep it random. Till next time. No, I don't like that. I ain't doing that again. Looks stupid. Till next time, guys. Adios.